Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to show you what I eat in a day for healthy digestion. Lately I've been researching a ton on um, just gut health and digestion and one of the things I found is that it has like so much effect on, on your whole body. So we always relate to like our digestion to like if we have stomach problems, so like if we're gassy or we have bloating, but it has an effect on so much more. And one of the things I found that it has a, a huge impact on is actually inflammation, specifically chronic inflammation. So I'm not talking about the inflammation that you would have in, um, in your ankle if you, you sprain it or something like that. It's just inflammation that's constantly in your body. And obviously you can imagine that that's not a good thing. So the more I read on inflammation, um, the more I felt like it applied to me. You know when you read like you may be suffering from in chronic inflammation if like you have any of the following? I was literally like yes, 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 yes. And I know that's kind of like self-diagnosis. I don't know if any of you guys do that, but I do that when I'm not feeling great. But yeah, I actually feel like I may have some chronic inflammation in my body. Also, my digestion has been off as well. Uh, sometimes I come home from practice late at night and my stomach is just super bloated and I really don't know why. Like most of those days I eat well, that I feel like I'm eating well anyways. So I feel like there has to be like an underlying problem. Um, that and like inflammation can cause so many things like skin blemishes, which I obviously have. Um, and then joint pain and I know that those things can be caused by other things obviously you can get um, skin blemishes for different reasons but I think the number one reason would be inflammation and then I know like for my joint pain I've been playing volleyball for like 15 years now so of course it, that's also normal but I feel like it won't hurt me to try and heal my digestion and in the process hopefully reduce some of that inflammation that's in my body. Anyways, where I'm trying to get with this is that I'm trying to incorporate more like gut healing foods into my like day-to-day -day eating schedule. So there's been a few things that I've incorporated like almost daily now and then a few things that I just add in here and there. So today I'm gonna show you guys what those foods are and I'm gonna turn that into like a what I eat in a day so you're gonna be able to see exactly everything I eat in one day and specifically it's going to be to heal my gut. Okay so I'm still sipping on my lemon water, um, I'm about halfway done but I am going to start making breakfast right now because I am starving. No, if you want to know if an avocado is ripe or not you have to take off this little um, thing that's here, stem, I guess. And if, I think if it's like bright green, it's obviously not done. And then if it's like a brownish, it's good. And if it's like very dark, it's, it's already bad. Mine's green right now, but I don't really have a choice. That's the only one I have. So, This actually looks kind of good. Maybe I had it wrong. Maybe it's, if it's green, it's good. I'm gonna look that up. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. I swear to God, whenever I crack some eggs and it's not on camera, they look beautiful. And whenever I try to film it, one, look, look at this mess, and two, freaking dropped a shell in there if you can see it right there. So what I'm having for breakfast today is actually pretty consistent. So the meals that I have for lunch and dinner change every time. So what you're gonna see today is just what I happen to have today but breakfast is actually um, pretty much always the same. I'm having two eggs, half an avocado, and then some smoked salmon, about 50 grams of it, I would say. And the star of the show here is sauerkraut. So 
Sauerkraut is really good for your digestion. Sauerkraut is basically just a fermented uh, cabbage. Fun fact over here, kraut means cabbage in German. Learned that while I'm over here. So yeah, when they ferment it, it creates bacteria and that bacteria is great for your gut. So yeah, you wanna have probiotics. So um, that's kind of what my breakfast is gonna look like. I'm gonna enjoy this now and I'm gonna do some work on the side. It's actually one thing you shouldn't do for your digestion. Uh, you should like, when you have a meal, you should just focus on your meal, chew your food and you know, enjoy it. But I just can't sit here in silence and eat my food. So probably gonna do work or watch a YouTube video while I'm eating. Okay, so lunchtime. So for lunch, I'm having a chili. I made the chili from um, this book, Practical Paleo, uh, for the first time. So yeah, it's basically just ground beef, some butternut, squash, peppers, and some avocado. Any type of meal that you cook for a long amount of time, like a chili or a stew, it's really good for your digestion because it already started breaking down the fibers and everything so it's easier for your body to digest it and absorb it so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this now and I'll see you guys later hi again okay so it's about three o'clock and I am hungry of course and I'm gonna heat up some bone broth right now um, bone broth is definitely something that I have added to my diet um, in order to have better digestion and heal my gut like I've been mentioning um, so this is what it looks like, <laughs> super appetizing, um, so I make it myself in the crock pot, it's really easy, you just throw a bunch of stuff in there, so obviously bones, and then um, some vegetables, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of salt, and yeah, you let it simmer for about 24 hours and you have bone broth the next day. So um, as you can see, in this bone broth, there's like this white uh, top here. This is the fat, so I'm gonna scoop that out and then the liquid part, I'm just gonna throw it on the stove, heat that up, and then I'm gonna enjoy a full cup of that. Okay, while the bone broth is heating up, I just wanna tell you guys why it's so great for you. Um, so basically, in the bones, there are so many good things stored in there, so like vitamins, minerals, amino acids and, and collagen. So when you do a bone broth, all those things are released from the bones and they are in this liquid. I'm just gonna turn the heat down. We don't need any more bone broth accidents. I might have spilled boiling hot bone broth on myself last week. That wasn't fun. Anyways, so yeah, bone broth. So you have all these amazing things that are released from the bones and they become a liquid and then you can flavor it with whatever vegetables you put in there and then you just drink it and it's incredibly soothing for the gut it just feeds it with amazing nutrients vitamin minerals all that and then the big one i think is really collagen collagen is so good for your body it's good for your digestion but it's also collagen is what makes up like your skin so um, it's good for your skin, your hair, your nails, all that stuff. I take collagen uh, protein powder, or like collagen powder, which is basically just protein. Um, I'll show you that right now, actually, because I won't be having any of it today. I usually have it as my pre-practice uh, snack. I'll have that in a smoothie or um, mixed with applesauce. 
and I don't have practice today so I won't be having that. I just have dinner a little bit earlier on days where I don't have training at night. So yeah, but collagen is extremely good. So if there's one thing you wanna do uh, to make your digestion better, I would definitely suggest adding collagen in the form of powder or just making bone broth. Okay, last meal of the day. So I'm just about to make dinner here. This is my favorite dinner and it's the easiest dinner ever. So I am basically putting everything on one like like baking tray. So I have sweet potatoes here for my carbs, have some Brussels sprouts, and then some salmon with some parsley on top. The sweet potato, I have paprika on it, and then the Brussels sprouts is olive oil and garlic. And yeah, that's it. Like I just put that in the oven for 25, 30 minutes and it comes out and I just plate everything and voila. So super healthy meal and super fast. And once again, really good for your digestion. Um, sweet potatoes are full of prebiotic fiber. So we always hear about probiotics, but we never hear about the prebiotics. So basically what happens is um, we get the probiotics and those give you like the healthy bacteria you need in your gut, but you need prebiotic to feed that healthy gut bacteria. So that's what prebiotic does, fiber um, specifically. So sweet potato is a great source of that. So yeah. And that's it. That's dinner right there. Sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and a very butchered salmon filet. Okay, so I kind of lied to you guys. Um, dinner was not my last meal of the day. So of course it's Friday and I want dessert, want a treat. Actually, that's another lie. I pretty much have a treat every day after dinner or after lunch. I want like something sweet. Always crave chocolate. Um, usually I make my own chocolate, but today I decided to make myself a little bowl um, of, I don't know, different things. So I have some almonds in here, some coconut chips, and then two pieces of 70% dark chocolate. That's like, Chocolate and almonds for me is like the best thing ever. So I just combine those in a bowl and then add some coconut chips. They're all fairly healthy foods. Um, I wouldn't like overdo it on them, but I think in those portions, uh, it's very healthy to have. So that's what I'm gonna have for dessert. And then I'm also gonna have actually a um, cup of tea, uh, peppermint tea. And there comes uh, digestion again. So peppermint tea is really good for your digestion. I think most people know that, that if you have like um, stomach ache, or something like that, someone will always say like having peppermint tea is really soothing and calming to your digestive tract. So yeah, and this is just luck, but honestly, I don't really like any teas, but the one tea that I actually like is peppermint tea. So yay. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, the usual. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.